After high school, I am attending Central Michigan University, and I will be majoring in either broadcasting or graphic design. Um, I'm going to go to Ferris State University and get a double bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and product design. Uh, I'm attending MSU next year to study supply chain management. Planning to go to Grand Valley to just kind of figure out what I want to do with my life and find a major that'll fit me and then work from there. Well, I plan on going to Fair State for four years and I'll be studying heating and cooling and I'm looking forward to it. After high school, I plan on attending Ferris State University and then I'm going to get my degree in radiography and then I'm going to get a degree in pediatric nursing. Is to go to GRCC to get my basics in social work and then I'm going to go to Ferris State to get my master's and bachelor's for social working. I'm going to go to college, but I don't know where I'm going yet. Hopefully by the time we watch this, I'll have it all figured out. But right now I'm undecided and just trying to see what's best for me. <laughs> Western, Central, Niagara, still trying to figure it all out. Don't even know what I want to be. Um, <laughs> I'm leaning towards a communications degree, but if not, maybe interior design. Or I'm still trying to figure my life out, but it'll be fun. Okay, I plan to go to either Cedarville University or the University of Michigan, then graduate with a degree in economics, become a professional economist, and get really rich. Uh, after high school, I plan to go to Ferris State for a mechanical engineering degree. Uh, next year, I am planning to go to Siena Heights University to study pre-vet, and then after I get that degree, I plan on transferring to a bigger vet school to get my doctor in veterinary medicine and I will be playing softball there. I don't have set plans yet, but I'm thinking of going into cosmetology because I just get really interested with hair and makeup and stuff, but I'm not certain on anything else, really. I'm going to be going to Michigan State University to run track and cross country, and I'll be studying business there to hopefully go into fashion merchandising. Right now I'm trying to decide between Cornerstone and Ferris. I'm not quite sure yet, but I plan on majoring in computer science, doing like computer programming stuff. I've always had an interest in that. I plan on going to Baker College in Muskegon to pursue a career in veterinary technology. I plan to go to Baker to pursue a degree as a vet tech and um, I'm going to get my generals done my first year and then go into the program after that. So I plan on going to Michigan Tech University and studying chemical engineering as my major and aerospace as my minor and the chemical engineering is more gearing me towards jet propulsion to work with NASA and SpaceX. Uh, after high school I'm going to go to Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio and study mechanical engineering. Hopefully play a little bit of club rugby too. I attend Wheaton College to play track and football, and I want to major in uh, business, econ, and probably minor in missions. Uh, coding and programming, um, I'm thinking about going into computer science. Um, at some point, I want to go into the military. I've been thinking about going into the Navy, but I'm still not 100% sure, but I know I want to do it at some point. After high school, I plan on attending college to become an occupational therapist. Um, I don't know where I want to go yet, but I hope to end up working at Mary Freebed to help the people get back up on their feet. All right, a highlight from my time here at Kent City would probably be going 9-0 in football my junior year and then 20-0 that same year in the next basketball season. That was just a great experience breaking records with some of my closest friends from high school. You get out of one class and you're heading to another. You can't go from that class to the other without saying hi to a bunch of your friends, a bunch of staff, and just meet, meeting a whole bunch of nice new people almost every day. My highlight of my high school's experience is going to all the sporting events and anything where the community really gets together and supports everyone because we have a really supportive community. Um, one highlight of high school would probably be the first time we won or we got third place in state finals for band and probably playing Joe in Little Women. It's pretty cool. 
Um, my highlight would have to be going to state with my cross country team two years in a row. That was a blast. And qualifying as an individual this year. That was awesome. Going undefeated last year in football and going to the playoffs in the second round, that was a lot of fun. So every moment at Kent City has been a great experience. I don't have just one highlight. But if I had to choose one, it would probably be this summer at Boyne with my basketball team. We <laughs> were tubing down a river. Zara, Lauren, and I were all stuck on a tube together. And it was probably the worst experience but the best experience of my life. Zara kept falling off her tube, and Lauren was just trying to drag us along. And <laughs> the whole team was probably a mile ahead of us. But it was a fun adventure. Uh, one highlight of my high school career is our basketball season last year. We won 20 games, and I think we broke some records. That was pretty good. Uh, so one of my highlights from high school was probably playing sports and all the people you get to hang out with and then also like our accomplishments on and off the field are pretty cool. Like one example would be with the football team, all the time we spend at the um, veterans home. That was pretty cool to me to get to see like how what we were doing affects people and the impact we could have on their lives. Uh, a highlight would probably be all the snow days we've had this year because <laughs> I haven't had to go to school like at all this semester so it's nice. <laughs> At my junior year, we went to the second round of the MHSA playoffs, and we went undefeated the whole year. And I played left tackle on the team, and we had a great offense. We set the scoring record for points, and it was a lot of fun, and it was a great season. Just being a part of all our extracurricular activities. Uh, volleyball was great for me. I made a lot of new friends, and it was just really good time for me. It really helped me through any struggles I had in class and all that. and It was really fun for me. So a highlight of my high school career was being in band, especially marching band. I've played flute for all these four years in piccolo and concert band. My favorite year was sophomore year with Pierre. I started off as a freshman. Our band is getting ninth place and that was the highest we've gotten so far. And then that sophomore year we went to state it was an amazing run, and we got third place for the first time. It would be family time. Most people don't like it, but all four years I've had a really good family, and we all get along really good, and we um, all participate, and I don't know, I just like it. Marching band, definitely, and I'd say that when I first started out as a freshman, I watched Zach Carlson play his solo, and I thought I really wanted to do that but I'd never be able to. And this year I actually tried out and I was able to play a solo with um, Michaela Lowe. So that was great. We took the trip to DC and that was with a lot of my closest friends. So we made a lot of memories there that I'm never gonna forget. And it was just a great time that we all had together. Definitely the band program and the drama program, even though I just joined drama last year, or technically this year, um, just having those families kind of help me through my school and all that. Joining the cheer team this season for the basketball cheer, it was a new experience and I thought it was really cool. Also, the multimedia class has been awesome to work with and all my art classes have really just captured my creativity, I guess I would say. I've really enjoyed going to state finals with both the girls and guys cross country team the past two years. I think it's so cool that we were able to have both teams make it the past few years and it's been a really fun experience with everybody on the team. I really enjoyed being uh, in the band. I've had a lot of really fun experiences, a lot of really sucky ex uh, experiences too, but you know, it, it, it is what it is and overall it's been a really good time. I always think of uh, the of playing soccer every year and in particular I remember my sophomore year there was this game where the field was just purely mud and covered in a bank of fog but despite being so dirty the entire team had a really great time and we almost won that game but they ended up having to cancel it because it was so muddy. A highlight from my time at Kent City would be uh, one day during sixth hour in the fall um, me, uh, Brendan Gears, and Jared Coates left and found a couch in downtown and put it in the back of Dylan Denoff's truck. So um, really just the charity of donating a free couch to Dylan Denoff would probably be one of the highlights of my high school career.
just the sports aspect of my high school career. Just the different opportunities I've had, like playing at GVSU in that Gridiron Classic game and and then having two no, yeah, two of the first playoff games at Kent City. So that was pretty special and just the um, camaraderie I've had with guys uh, my whole life growing up in Kent City, you just play with the same guys throughout elementary and middle school and high school and it's just been cool to build relationships with them. My advice is to try new things. Uh, even if you're really terrible at them, no one's going to remember in like 10 years. I mean, I've tried drama and choir, which I never thought I was going to do, and I was pretty terrible at them, but no one's going to remember, I don't, so it doesn't bother me. To enjoy your time here, don't rush through it. It goes fast, and everybody's going to say that, but it really does, and just enjoy it, because it's the best time of your life, and yeah, there's bad things that happen, breakups or whatever, but it's still really great, and you meet a lot of new people and have a lot of friends that stay with you throughout the time. No matter what activities you're doing or sports or academics, just always try to push yourself to do the best that you can do and don't settle or try to just get by with the bare minimum. Always try to go above and beyond and exceed. Be yourself, too. I mean, high school can change you a lot. I got most changed, by the way, so... Uh, <laughs> But just be yourself and be happy. Try to smile a lot, be kind to everybody, and live life. <laughs> just keep working hard and being, being consistent in your um, classwork because you never know, like, um, at the end of your four years, how it's going to affect you, like, college decision-wise. That you don't take it too fast. Don't, you know, take it for what it is and don't live life too quickly because these four years they seem like a super long time but now that I'm reaching the end of it it doesn't feel like it's that long and I almost wish I could go back and just kind of you know take it in a little bit more. Yeah the drama because it's not going to matter in a week especially when you're a senior all your freshman drama or whatever you don't even remember it because it's just so dumb so my advice is just to stay out of it in general and not have to deal with any of it. Um, make lots of friends with different people. Don't stick with your little group because you always want to have other people that you can go to instead of your little clique and just make the best of everything. Advice for underclassmen would be to work your hardest, especially freshman year, because if you get an A minus your freshman year, then you don't have a 4.0 for the rest of your um, high school career unless you take really hard classes. Um, my advice for underclassmen would be just to have a lot of fun in high school. You're never going to get these years back, and it's a great experience. But don't do things that are going to get yourself in trouble and hurt your future. Get involved. Go to as many events as you can, whether it's playing a sport or acting or just watching. It's a great way to meet new people and form a lot of new friendships. Surround yourself with people that you love. Um, make new friends. Go to that football game. Go to that basketball game. It's always a great way to surround yourself with good people. This is your last four years of basically your childhood, so make the most of it. Participate in anything there is because we offer a lot of things. And make sure you focus on your studies because that will get you really far in life. Don't slack off your first couple of years because it's hard to recover from if you don't put in your full effort the first couple of years. And you'll really appreciate if you put in that effort. Well, like, I got involved in sports, obviously, but, like, even just getting involved in homecoming games and participating or the dress-up days or going to athletic events or band concerts or band competitions, just, like, get involved and get yourself out there. To get involved with the community and the school itself and to really just take in your high school experience because it goes by really fast. Four years went by in a snap to just be kind to everybody around you. High school can be um, a tough time for a lot of kids and it's definitely a period of growth and I think it's important that high school students encourage and lift each other up, especially when we're all just trying to find our way these fast four years. School isn't that difficult if you just 
do your work and turn in your assignments and you can get through it all okay. Find something you enjoy, whether it be a sport or an activity or a club, and just stick with it throughout high school. I, I would say get lots of sleep and try not to stress too much, especially um, senior year. It can be really stressful, despite people telling you that it's going to be an easy year. It's really stressful. Do your homework. Don't put it off until the last minute. And definitely try to make time to read outside of class. It will really just help you become smarter in different ways and just kind of help you relax almost. Uh, first of all, don't jewel in school. Uh, that's bad stuff. Don't do that. And um, uh, freshmen like, and sophomore weight, like football players looking real skinny, so please get in the weight room so you guys can win some football games. Um, well, I'd like to thank all my teachers, but especially Mr. DeGraff, Mr. Smith, Mr. Hartley, and Mr. Thompson because they helped me and all their classes were one of my favorites. <laughs> so, uh, I'll thank my mom for one and all the staff and students for making it a great four years. First, I'd like to thank my parents because they did support me in everything I do. And then I'd like to thank the teachers for helping me through all my classes and helping me whenever I needed it. And on a side note, I'd like to thank my dog for staying up late with me to do all my homework. I'd like to thank my family and my friends. They were always there for me and helped me with homework. I'd also like to thank my teachers for getting me through my classes and teaching me everything I needed to know. And just the community in general, they are great. They were really, really close and it really helped getting me through everything and all my classes. It was just a really great time. Friends for one, my friends and family, my brothers, they kind of pushed me to do well in school. My grandpa, my teachers, just everyone. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, if I had to thank anybody, it would definitely be my mom. She's helped guide me through so much and this high school experience has been great and if it wasn't like I wouldn't have a great experience for sure if it wasn't for my friends and for my family and my teachers they're really great all the teachers at Kent City are amazing so I can't just pick one teacher they're all pretty amazing and Mr. Vogel and Mr. Crane I mean life is the school is just great because of them and yeah. I'd like to thank my parents for dealing with me at home and allowing me to try the new things They've waited in like countless parking lots for cold hours over the past 12 years and I'm forever grateful. Uh, I'd like to thank all the teachers for just what they've been able to do and the way that they've pushed us. But most importantly, I'd thank my parents and they're making sure that I'm always doing everything at my greatest potential. Uh, my parents and my family, my friends, my teachers and my pets to thank my mom and dad and my sisters and my little brother, all my friends and other family members that have helped me along the way, and of course my teachers. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and God, and um, definitely my teachers, especially Mr. Thompson for helping me through math, and uh, my coaches, especially Coach Evers and Coach Wilson for everything that they've helped me go through these past few years. I always felt like the teachers at Kent City had were very invested in me and had a genuine interest in seeing that I succeeded and did well. And I always appreciated that and it definitely helped me uh, through my high school. I would like to thank my parents for being there for me throughout high school and I'd like to thank the band program for helping me through all these years. Um, I want to thank my parents because they're so supportive and I want to thank Mr. Schnicky and Mrs. Funk for being the best parent teachers you could have in the world. They're great. I'd like to thank all my friends and my family and most of my teachers, especially Mr. Boyd, for being a great family teacher. I would like to thank my teachers for providing me with a great education as well as my parents for just sort of helping me participate and their help along the way really pushed me to be who I am today. I'd like to thank all my teachers, especially Mr. Schnicky, and um, my friends in particular because I pretty much owe a lot of happiness to them, so for making my high school years worth it.
I'd like to thank all of my teachers for just become making me be more social because I was severely antisocial when I was a freshman and I've really kind of branched out to become more social and interact with people outside of my grade and within my grade. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God, uh, my friends and my family and then my teachers for uh, all the hard work and they say it takes a village to raise a child so I think it took the village of Kent City to raise me. So. Ooh, I'd like to thank uh, all the coaches I've had. Um, Mr. Crane, my coach, he's been um, a big impact on my life these past three years, having him as a coach. And just my parents who've always been supportive and just there for me when I need them, I guess. And all my friends just um, being there with me through this high school experience. It's been a great four years at Kent City. So. I'd really like to thank uh, all my friends, really. Um, I've gone through a lot of really hard things uh, throughout the past four years, and my friends are pretty much always, always, are always there for me, and they always help me to bring me up. And also, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Drent as well, Matt Drent, uh, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gotten my Eagle Scout rank. Uh, in t uh, late 2018 is when I got it. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be an Eagle Scout now. So, yeah. Um, I would like to thank my teachers and friends for getting me through school for years and making it at least a little bit enjoyable. <laughs>